Well, it's been years in the making, and in a few weeks, the world's first commercial space plane will be shipped to NASA. It's called Dream Chaser, and it's being built at the Sierra Space Facility in Louisville, Colorado. Last year, I took an exclusive tour of the space plane being built, and today I got the chance to go back and see the finishing touches before it makes its way to the Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio. They're installing the thermal protection system and the landing gears. This is what Dream Chaser looked like a year ago when I had the chance to take an exclusive tour of the space plane being built. And this is what it looks like now, a year later, just a few weeks before it heads to NASA's Neil A. Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio. So this is our production floor. We are running 24-7 operations right now. We were the only TV station there as Sierra Space's Angie Wise gave us a tour before the space plane leaves the facility. But here is Tenacity. There are over 2,000 tiles on this vehicle. It's a unique design and the first to feature folded wings that won't open up until it's in space. Tenacity will be the first Dream Chaser space plane to launch from the Kennedy Space Center next year. It's Sierra Space's first large scale contract with NASA. Wise says NASA bought seven missions with them so far. They'll all be unmanned with the goal of delivering cargo to the International Space Station. Now we'll walk over here to cargo module two. I say cargo module two because you will notice cargo module one's no longer in our facility. That's because cargo module one is on its way to NASA in Ohio right now. Cargo module one attaches to the back of the space plane. That's where cargo will be loaded into. Once it gets to the International Space Station, the module will be unloaded, then loaded up with unwanted materials. It will then burn up upon re-entry into the atmosphere once Dream Chaser's mission is complete. So we know we have to build at least seven cargo modules to support those NASA missions. Sierra Space is also building a second space plane. While Y says each plane can fly up to 15 times, Tenacity and the second plane will both be used for those seven missions. But it needs to pass testing first once it's shipped from Louisville. We're essentially getting it ready for shipping, right? So checked out the landing gear. We're going to put everything back in, stow it, and then move it onto that fixture and, and get her out of here. And Dream Chaser will undergo environmental testing once it is at NASA's facility in Ohio. That could take one to three months. Then it will be shipped to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where it's scheduled to launch and land next year.